M13 here. Just going to the motorbike shop. Uh, let me get a new. Well, a few things. I got in my I, my bike needs a uh, safety check. You got to get like a. In Taiwan, if you got a new vehicle, then uh, you're fine for like. You doesn't need. You don't have to take it in for a safety check for like the first five years. But then after that, you have to take it in once every two years or something. And then after ten years, and you have to take it in every year. Yeah, I think it's. I think that's how it works. So my bike's now like five years old or whatever, so I need to take it in for its first safety check. Which means I have to take it to the shop and they have to, they have to strip off like things that are modded, like the muffler and stuff, and uh, put the stock stuff back on. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do a few other things as well. I'm going to sw swap off my windshield and put on the shorter one, so that'll be different. And I'm going to put in the silencer on my muffler, just for a change of pace. Because uh, my muffler comes, there's a, when you buy an aftermarket muffler, they have a little, they have something that fits in the end that makes the, the muffler, either, makes the muffler either noisier or quieter. Um, different brands have different names for it. Some brand, I think, I think uh, a couple of brands call it the D, DB Killer, Decibel Killer. And uh, if you, yeah, you pull it out and it gets much louder. And that's, mine's pulled out, but uh, I'm going to try sticking it in. Speaking of sticking, never mind. Um, yeah, so I just—it's—I just finished my uh, second tour for 2011. Uh, it went really well. I feel sorry for the guys that did my first tour for 2011 because it, it went okay. We had a couple. We had a, we had a bit too much riding for the for the first tour, and I, I, I scaled that down for the next tour. I kind of. Yeah, I took, there's like, there was like a one, there was one day we did that was like 12, 13 hours of riding, and I just cut that day in half for the August people. And even with doing that, it was still uh, rather adventurous, because the first half was uh, not a long time of riding, but it was really uh, crazy conditions. We, it was like nighttime and raining and fog and over the top of a very high mountain, and it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was adventurous. <laughs> We had a lot of people commenting that at the time it was horrific, but just, just like a day or two later, they were like, that was cool. And that's how it is with uh, stuff like that. When it's happening, you're like, you're cold, you're hungry, you're tired, and you, and you hate it. But then just give it a day or two, and you're like, yeah, that was cool. It's like, it's like just, just like climbing a mountain or crossing a desert, you know? It's, it's uh, not exactly comfortable while you're doing it, but once you've done it, it, it feels good. I think I'm gonna go. Uh, I haven't. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go swing by the, uh, the 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 university area that you guys like and, and buy some sandwiches. I didn't eat dinner yet, but I'm not very hungry, so I'll just go get. Uh, I'll go get some sandwiches and I'll bring them to the motorcycle shop and see if anybody else wants to eat them. Um. Yeah. So tours. I got, I've, I've, I've already uploaded a couple of videos from the tours, which you guys have seen. Uh, the guy from Norway and, and the American jamming out, and you can see some of the other guests in the background on that one, and then the, the roller coaster video. Most of those videos, huh? Whew, that's a good shortcut. I wasn't sure if that road was going to take me, but it totally did. Um, most of those videos, I'm going to, uh, will be on the, my private series. Uh, it's actually good. There's, there's one video where I just recorded for like 50, 50 minutes straight, and it's I reviewed the whole thing, and it's all interesting. If it wasn't, I would I would uh, I would have shortened it or just cut bits out. Man, uh, young I, I, do young people just get prettier and prettier and prettier, or is it just because that I'm getting older and older, and I just look at them like 
more covetingly than I would have when I was their own age, you know? Like, I don't get, like, I, but it's not, like, look, like, look at that. A few years ago, that didn't exist. Simple as that. It didn't exist. That's like Selena Gomez. That's like Selena Gomez of Taiwan. And I love to have people line out straight into the street. That's always good. No, male, no dogs. Oh, I was buying this before and the people complained that I didn't see the sandwich. So there's the sandwich. It's like... This is a Sangha Jemu. Cat cheese. <sighs> she was cute, eh? I just I gave her I, did, I looked her right in the eye and then I gave her like a smile. She can't see my mouth, but when you smile, your eyes smile. And then she got all she 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 smiled back, but it was like a shy. Please don't. Never mind. Smile. It was a shy smile. Yeah. <laughs>